So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today, let us talk about a raster to vector conversion in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to convert from a raster to a vector, we require an algorithm that is a reducer, alg reducer algorithm that converts that converts, or, uh, converts the raster image to a vector. So to convert from a raster to vector, uh, vector, so first we're going to uh, load an edit boundary from a fusion table. So let us define. So here, to import uh, a large, uh, so to import a country boundary polygon, we are using a United States of the Department of State, a large, large scale international boundary polygon. So for that, we defined a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection. So referring to United States of Department of State, large scale international boundary polygon of database of 2017. So after we defined a variable called Egypt. So this is our uh, study area equals to countries. We are referring to this variable dot filter double e dot filter. So filtering by the country Egypt. So we are selecting only the Egypt boundary from this United States Department of State uh, database of the world's boundary, uh, country's boundary. So we are particularly selecting the Egypt as our study area. So next is uh, we're going to add a layer, map dot add layer by Egypt and with the color palette that is we are using this particular sequence with the opacity equals to one. The next is we are uh, to set the zoom level. We are using this code that is map dot center object with our study area that is Egypt zoom level of 10. So let us uh, go to our next stop. So next we are next is we are going to import the VII RS the imagery so let me show you that so vi i r s that is visible infrared imaging radiometry radiometer suit so this is a, a nighttime uh, satellite imagery so we are going to use this uh, in our google earth engine so to uh, import this particular uh, imagery let us first define a variable called start variable defining a variable called start equals to double e dot date so we are uh, specifying the temporal uh, filtering so from 2017 january to january 1 so next is so we are specifying the end uh, end date the last day that is we're defining the variable n equals to double e dot date 2017 december 31st so our starting date is from January to December. The next is the so next is to uh, to import this particular imagery that is the visible infrared imaging radiometer suit. So we are using the specific uh, code that is we defined a variable called night. So it is of a night imagery. So we are defined as variable night equals to double e dot image collection. So we are referring that satellite image so this one so we are referring this particular satellite image so so we are filtering with the temporal uh, sequence that is with the temporal uh, sequence from our start date and our end date start date here defined as from 2017 january and the end date here that is defined from that is our last date is December 31st. The next is we are filtering with our study area. So we are uh, the specific uh, the specific code imports entire world boundary. So in order to uh, select only our interested study area, that is our Egypt. So we are specifying with uh, specifying dot filter bounds Egypt. So next is our select average. Rad. So in this particular satellite image, we have multiple uh, bands. So it is a multi-band imagery. So it has a, it is it has a multiple bands. So we are defining dot select average and dash uh, 
the underscore rad defines the word nighttime imagery. So we are using dot select as an average of uh, average and select our nighttime uh, band. And after we are specifying dot mean, this particular mean function uh, has a has an important function for we have defined uh, the temporal sequence from that is from 70, 2017 January to, to December. So in order to acquire a single set of, uh, in order to acquire a single image from this uh, temporal range from January to December, so we are specifying dot me in order to get a single image out of it. So next is we're going to define an arbitrary threshold on, on the six bit, uh, six bit night light image. So before converting to a, a raster to a vector image, first we're going to define a classes. So I will create a different classes using our night light, uh, that is nighttime uh, imagery. So that is our, this image that is visible infrared imaging radiometer suit. So for that I have defined a variable called night class. So here we're going to clear, create a different classes, a 5, 50 and 100 using our night uh, nighttime data. The class here defines greater than 5, greater than 50, and greater than 100. So these are three different uh, classes randomly. So that is uh, so that is created by an uh, arbitrary or a random thresholds. So next is uh, we're going to update the mask. So we define the night class equals to night class update mask. So this specific function is going to update the mask. So the next is we're going to convert our raster image to a vector image. So that is our the nighttime data to a vector data. So converting from our raster to vector. So to convert from a raster to a vector, we're going to define a variable called vectors equals to night class. So here the night class refers to this variable. So dot add bands. So we are specifically using this night class and dot reduce to vector. So this particular algorithm, algorithm that converts our raster image or raster data to a vector data. So the next we are set the geometry to our edge. So next we, are, next we have defined that is CRS that refers to coordinate system. So the coordinate system is night dot projection. So here the night dot night refers to so the night refers to this particular imagery. So night dot projection that refers to that imagery projection. So this particular function as a result, it takes the original, original projection of that image. So it takes the original projection of this image. The so next is uh, we define scale. So the next is we define scale equals to thousand meters, and the geometry type is a polygon. So next is the eight connected. That is false. For now, let me keep it as a false. And next is a uh, label property. So now referring to night class. So it refers to the label property of this particular night class. That is our imagery, the night data. So basically, this is our band. Uh, this is our band we're going to use use for this use for this conversion. So to convert a homogeneous pixels to a single class, we're going to use this function reducer. So we define reducer double e dot reducer dot mean so to convert a homogeneous pixel to a single class we are using this specific function so this specific function that converts our nighttime data to a vector data so that is from to convert from a raster to a vector data so now let us display our maps so for that let me uh, so let us display this map so to see the difference. 
So let us see the difference uh, between the two, uh, between these maps. So this particular uh, defines a raster uh, that is our nighttime uh, image, nighttime data into a raster. And this particular, this particular uh, image, we going to uh, this particular going to convert it into a vector. And let us see the difference. So to first of all, to add our uh, raster our data, we're using map dot add layer, the night class. So it refers to this night class, our night data, and dot clip by our filter bound by our study area that is Egypt. And I'm setting our visualization parameter with minimum one and maximum of three, and setting our color ramp that is our palettes. We're defining with the different color palettes for our layer. So now to uh, add our vector data, that is our night, converting our night data, night, uh, data raster to a vector. So we are defining our visualization parameter. So here we define a variable display, double image, and update mask, and dot paint and vector that represents our color palette of the vector uh, layer. And next is we're going to add this uh, vector uh, layer into our Google Earth engine. So to make that, to, to uh, do that, we are using map dot add layer display the color palette referring the this color and our vector vector layer. To center our uh, layers, we are defining map dot center object with our study area edge with zoom level of six. So now uh, let me uh, run this code. So go to the option called run. Click run. So it is loading here. So excellent. So we have three different layer. One is for that is our vector. The vector uh, we converting from raster to a vector. The next layer it is our raster converting our nighttime data and third is our our study area boundary that is our Egypt. So this is our study area boundary. So previously you might have a doubt that so why I have defined as a as false here in map dot add layer Egypt. So by defining false the layer uh, the, the layer will be created but it, it will not show uh, in our Google Earth engine. So suppose uh, let me remove this. So after uh, after removing the false in our uh, first layer, so let me run this. Go to the option called run. So now we can able to view that we have three different all three layers being added. So suppose if you want to hide this layer. You can use this option called use this uh, option by uh, making a comma and entering as a false. Let me enter as false. So now let me run this code again. Let me reach, uh, reset this. So let me run this again. So now we can able to view that. So we have uh, all three layers, but except the edge is being turned off. So by making a statement, a statement called false, you can turn off this uh, layer edge. So let me get back to our result for other two layers. That is our vector and raster uh, layers. So now let us first look, uh, look at our raster image. So it is a nighttime data. So it generally it shows our the various uh, that is our urban areas so you can able to view that so the gauge color marks the different level of urbanization so red color has a higher concentration of this uh, urban areas and similarly green has a medium and blue has a very low urban urbanization so let me uh, let us view in vector vector uh, vector layer
So after converting from a raster to a vector layer, this is how it looks. So now let me uh, turn this off. So let us view in the satellite mode. So this is our satellite uh, mode. So let me view this. So we can able to, uh, let me uh, turn this raster layer. So this is our urbanized area. So now let us check in our satellite image. So you can able to clearly view that. Let me turn this off. So you can able to clearly view that this is our urbanized uh, area. Similarly, the raster, Im raster image of the nighttime data has shown this is an urbanized area. So the blue here indicates it is a agricultural lands. So using our nighttime data, we can uh, uniquely identify our urban areas in this study area. So there is a lot of urban areas in this specific study area. So that is Cairo. So vector data, you can able to view that. So technically our vector data has converted our raster uh, raster data to a vector data so you can able to view that so it has technically converted our uh, raster data to a vector data so I, to, I will turn off raster data so you can able to view that so it is technically has converted our raster to vector So in this video, I have shown you how to convert a raster image to a vector image and how to uh, import our uh, large scale boundary that is world level boundary for the polygon and uh, how to import our nighttime data and uh, how to convert from a raster to a vector and finally to display our data. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.